what up guys welcome to the channel i go by the name of dj odyssey and on today's video we're gonna dwell into one of the upgrades in fs studio 2024 which is the code progression generator uh, everyone has been talking about it i've been wondering if it's actually a good upgrade or not because i come from using things like scalar cards uh Cthulhu and all that will this be something that i will dwell on when i make music you know so let's get straight into it and see if this is a great upgrade or not i'll show you what i've learned from using it and then maybe you can also use that in your production as well don't forget to like share comment and subscribe to the channel it really helps me to grow and it really helps me to get the numbers you know but otherwise let's go into this all right, we're gonna put in something like, uh, let's say, launch lizard today. And the preset is fine. So we're just gonna generate some cards. So we get in the piano roll, and up here, you go generate chord progression. And immediately, it shows you some chord progressions as you start, right? So what I've noticed now is that, let's play this first. I don't like those. <laughs> I don't like to, I don't like the first chords that it gave me, but if you like them, it's good for you, you know? Or maybe this is too loud for me. So now, we're gonna start generating some chords. To generate, you press here, generate, and you play again. If you feel like maybe it's in the highest octave, you can reduce the octave here maybe to four and play again. All right, this is cool, right? This is, this is okay, this is, this is okay. Uh, you can generate more if you want to. Which is cool. Uh, let's take it back to five, to octave five. And then from here, you feel like, you know what? Maybe this is not going right because it's just generating randomly, you understand? So you're trying to get, there's some presets going down at the bottom, like one, four, one, whatever. If you understand the music language more on how it moves, you might want to use some of these. But the good thing is that uh, it's written here, you know? So let's say something say hopeful, bittersweet, restless, playful, you know, uh, all of this, you can use any of these, you know, if there's something sad, joyful, you know. So let's say nostalgic. Maybe I'll take this one, this is nostalgic. Let's play this. Already, it sounds like something that you've actually had in the music scene already, like the, the way the chord progression moves, uh, it progresses in a way that you've actually had it being played, you know? And then, so now it's a good thing. Uh, if you are into rhythm, there's a preset for rhythms. Uh, you can choose any of these, but for me, for now, I don't feel like using any of these, but let's say for, for, for for the sake of the tutorial, let's say we take this just to show you. You see, it cuts them down a little bit and then you can use, uh, I think, push-pull or something. Let's play this. So it has like some kind of a rhythm there, right? So, but I'm not using any of these rhythms for now. I'm just gonna go back to default, stick to how it was. And then, so for now, it, it's, it looks good. And then what you know is that you can also, if you right click on the F sharp major there and say, okay, edit, and then you can actually choose um, the scale that you wanna be in. So we're just trying to figure this out, right? We're figuring this out. Uh, let's go to nostalgic again, and then let's play this. Okay, we're gonna stick to this. 
And then one thing that you have to know again is that when you generate, be sure to look at these two things here, right? This one that looks like a dice. It says you're generating from, you're starting over, meaning that you're changing the scale and everything. And when you here, it means you're staying on the same scale. And then it's just generating around that. But if you change it here, uh, you're changing the whole thing. So you have to make sure that uh, you know what they do, you know. And then now again, the next thing again is that when I'm playing this, the first chord, I don't like it. It's too high at some point. So you might want to change the inversion, the inversion. So you go to this with the inversion. So if you take it down, that high note goes down at the bottom, right? And then you play this. You can also invert it again if you want to. Uh, you were able to invert some of these things. Now you know how to invert, right? So we can move along, we can move somewhere else. And then like I was doing, go to invert here. When you right click on this, you can transpose it, baseline, extra nodes. So you can add an extra node, let's say two extra nodes. You have this. So if you're looking for that more so fulfill, you can add extra notes. Oh, just none. You good like this. And you have a good chord progression for me right now, you know? And then now you can now select everything and then go into performance. So once you're inside performance, uh, you have arpeggios, you can chop it, you can uh, humanize it. So let's say arpeggios first, right? So when you get to arpeggios, now you have to press on this, then it arpeggiates it, and you play it. So you can do whatever that you want, and then you have uh, up, down, whatever, up and down, and then you play it. So that's like a good arpeggio, and then you can do as many as you want, you know, there's house, you know. So when you're making music, this is part of the things that you, if you're looking for an arpeggio, you can actually do it from uh, the FL Studio thing, you know? It's very simple, and then you can also mess around these. So it's up to you what you wanna do, right? So I'm gonna take it back to none, and then I'm gonna go to chop, right? So when it comes to chop, you have all these as well, right? So let's say trance. You know, with trance is so it gives you those types, and then now when you play it, so it give you that trance feel, and then you can go again. Maybe you're looking for a double, whatever that you do. You know, you test it out. And you have density to this, all these things to to change, you know, to change how it's gonna look like there, and whatever that you do, you know. And then for now, take it back. We're going back to the original, and then we're going to humanize it. So when you get into when you get into humanizing, the best part about humanizing is that now you can make it feel like somebody's actually playing it, you know. So you're just moving the notes around. So you can have um, preset first, spread it, and not bad, too much, light.
you do as you please. And then you can strum it the way you want to if you feel like you don't want to use the presets and then the velocity thing, uh, the, these things. You can mess around with it, you know, however you want to do it. Then, so it's the same thing, you know. When you use heavy, you can do what you can do. So it really helps out a lot to, to know how to use this thing and then you can actually make better music at the end of the day, you know. So I feel like this is dope. Um, is it better than Scalar? It's getting there. It's getting there. And then we can go to advanced. I haven't touched a lot of these advanced things, so I wouldn't want to mess with it today because I don't know much, to, I, don't, I haven't done much in here because I feel like it's just some simple things, but I don't want to mess around, you know? Otherwise, yeah, as long as you learn performance, presets, uh, you can actually create some amazing uh, chord progressions. Uh, best part about this, you right click, and then you can do voicing. Um, octave, it does for all of them. and. So the octave means it puts like an octave note down up at the top there and then F. So it increased the note. You you can do whatever that you want to do with all this whole thing. So you just come here, you know, you you press whatever, you press whatever until it gives you something that you are gonna like, you know? So I feel like this is a great tool. Uh, FL Studio is doing some game changing. And then I'm really hoping to see how advanced it's gonna get as we go, you know? Um, I'll see you guys on my next video. I love you guys so much. And please don't forget to subscribe.